Alright. I'm gonna talk about yesterday. About cutting logs and stuff. Oh, that was a long day I'm gonna start off with. But, anyway, I went to my uncle's around 12, 18, I think it was. And, um, he had some work for me to do, so. First, we started cutting, uh, like branches off trees and stuff because he wanted all that taken care of and the uh, person I was working with uh, was named Chris and he was uh, pretty much an axe man if you want to call it that and he chopped down the roots or whatever so we could pull out and I'm the one that threw him in the back of the truck so after a while um, Chris uh, was told to get the Call it a lot more, and um, I'm my uh, uncle told me to stay there and uh, keep finishing up. So I get the axe and I start chopping away, and then they come back, and um, I should before they come back, I come across this bird. Alright, first off, you, you'd think you'd run away when I first saw me, but I didn't. It looked like it was standing its ground. I don't know. It's, I guess it's like one of those evil birds or whatever. So I walk closer to it, and it doesn't move back or anything. It just like tweets away. Like it's trying to tell me something. So, I'm like, oh, this is scary. I'm all, so I bring the axe over there, and he moves slightly back, but then he like comes around. doing that 
in a long, it took a long, long time, let's just say. But as it was getting higher and higher, it was harder to put logs on because I'm, you know, I'm not very tall. I'm like five, five or something like that. So as I'm putting logs up, I have to get on top of the trailer to keep, put them up, I guess you could say. And after that, we got done. Um, we get done, we are, um, our uncle gives us a buck to get a soda. And I got Mountain Dew, of course, because, you know, Mountain Dew's my favorite. And after that, me and uh, Curtis wait, wait for like 15 minutes to get for him to get back. And we're told to put the big logs that are left over up to, off to the side. So we do it. And uh, some of them weren't split all the way, but Chris uh, figured a way to split them. So he gets on top of the log or whatever. And he like moves both his legs in opposite directions. And it usually works. So he split like three of them by doing that. Because some because they just won't come apart. So then we get all stacked up. And once we're done, um, I just start sipping them on, do waiting for um, my uncle to get back. But at the same time, I look at my phone and it's practically dead, so I make quick calls and stuff. Alright, then my uncle gets back and uh, Chris uh, fills out his time card or whatever you want to call it. And he gets like $7.50 an hour. So I made about uh, say 30 bucks today. And yeah, and I get, I kind of feel bad because I did the same amount of work he did and I get like 21 bucks more than him. I guess because I'm his uncle. uncle. But other than that, other than that, that's what happened. And then I had to drive um, Chris back. Apparently, I, I get this at the last second. I'm like, all right, whatever, I can do it. So I drive him back and we start talking about, oh, it's like my first time working here and our age and stuff, you know. And yeah, he apparently Chris is pretty poor. He lives in like this, I won't call it ghetto, but it's it's pretty close to a ghetto. Um, yeah, it takes us a while to get back to this house. It's like in the heart of Green Bay. So once I get there, it's just this like, these little condos. And it looks like people that just can't afford a house, I guess. And I feel kind of lucky that I get um, opportunities and I got a house that is a decent size. Pretty thankful for that. So once I drop Chris off, I look to my side and I'm like, oh yeah, I kept six bucks. And I don't see it there, so I'm wondering, did Chris take it or something? Or, Cause I mean, he is poor, he might be desperate for money. But I don't know what happened to it. I just left it here and I can't find it now, so I don't know what to do. So anyway, I make it back to my house and I just wanted to chillax cause I, five hours of stacking wood. I've never done anything like that in my whole freaking life. So I just want to relax a little bit. So yeah, that's that's how work was today. Exhausting. I smelled like a lemon's ass afterwards, but I'm guessing everyone else did because it was warm out there and I had a jacket on. Looked like my freaking dad in a small version with his jacket on. Oh, uh, anyway, I'm dropping some off at Family Video, so peace out.